July 26, 2019, you'll see it was on Mary Jane's show with Jungboy. We were technologies, a technology pioneers over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We always got that next level shit. Yeah. That was one minute. Shit. Countdown. Guys, one minute. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Keeps. I don't know if your your sound might be on because I was hearing some. Oh yeah, the, the I turn around the like. You good? We good. I like to hear that. That's my favorite s- status report. <laughs> is we good? We good. We good. Yeah, you got you got the bong the bong holder right there. It mm-hmm. works. It works. Boom. 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 You love closer. that excellent shit. What's up, Timmy from New Zealand? I love that excellent shit too, fam. That's how we try to keep it out here. <laughs> Mary Jane, good afternoon, and welcome once again to About That Time. I'm your host, Noel Rubin. <laughs> clearly have had your eyes closed and your ears plugged because your boy's been dropping the real street heat for more than a decade, mm-hmm. collaborating with legends like Gucci Mane, like 2 Chains, like T.I.P., among others. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's had a pretty exciting year. He dropped a solo album uh, earlier this year, My Brother's Keeper. Uh, he's been doing great new music on the soundtrack for I Got the Hookup 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, he dropped a very, very cold uh, track called Gone or with uh, Jeezy. Uh, and your boy Master P, uh, drummer. Thanks so much for coming through, my friend. Come on, man. I Genuinely had to. a pleasure. Yes, sir. Genuinely a pleasure. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. Welcome. Uh, good vibes in here. Good vibes all around. How you doing? Good. I'm excellent, man. I had to blow through, man. Come through with the whoop whoop. It's what it is. Now, it's 4:20. Shout out to all our 4:20 viewers out there. Uh, the Snoopiverse, uh, Snoop Dogg TV, uh, Mary Jane, all you guys checking in. Uh, we're chilling with Drummer Boy. We're going to put some smoke in the air. We're going to talk about some good things. Now, uh, tell you know, I don't mean to start on a somber note, but this album that came out earlier this year uh, is about a very serious topic, uh, and something that I imagine you put a lot of your heart into. You want to tell us a little bit more about the record? Absolutely, man. R.I.P., my big bro. You know, my inspiration. This was the first guy I looked up to, the first guy I wanted to be like, dress like. You know what I mean? I remember walking into the studio and just seeing lights. I was like, man, I feel like I'm in a spaceship. And you know, from my pop, my, my pop was in the orchestra, you know what I'm saying? My mom was in the opera, so I already had the orchestral background and could play and arrange, read and, and, and write music. But getting the inspiration from Big Bro with like just making beats and just having that backup, if hooping wasn't gonna get me where it needed to take me. And, and to lose him, but looking at the legacy that he left, you know what I'm saying? Four nephew, I mean, four kids, three grandbabies. You know what I'm saying? My two nephews, my two nieces. Um, it, it, it's just only right that he live on. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we lost him, they named the day 223 in St. Wayne Day. And my mama was like, baby, it's just a celebration. You got to celebrate, you know what I'm saying? Because out of anybody, it hit me the hardest just because of how it happened, where it happened. And... Um, it was just a blessing for me to put all of that energy into a project, put it into the music, you know what I mean? I hate it had to go this way, you know what I mean? May he live on, you know what I'm saying? The family straight, you know what I mean? And just, just you know, when I met you, a, a time in my life that I had to transition. Right. You know what I mean? And get back to my fans and make sure that my fans live every part of my life and that it's genuine. I feel like that's that's the truest way to, 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 to stay in tune with your fans is to give them, give them what you're going through. You can't hide shit. You can't fabricate. You can't, ain't nothing phony. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It just, man, smoke that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. That's what, that's what the weed do. Like, it, it, it help you say fuck that shit. Like, cause so many people put pressure on you or want you to live like this or be like this or, you know what I'm saying? Wonder why you ain't cool with them no more. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a lot of things, but you peep and, and, the weed is the blessing. That the weed is is kind of like a, a a medicine. Truth, in a sense. truth, truth. Now you know. Obviously, you've created such an amazing body of work over the years, and you've put a lot of different energies into there. I mean, I can't imagine. It, it must have been a very different experience, though, bringing this kind of energy because it's such a specific loss and it's such a specific tragedy coming into the record. 
I am my brother's keeper. You what, know what I mean? So what I, it says. I, I just speak again what I'm going through. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, it, it was just a blessing, man. I, that's all I can say. Like it's a blessing, man. I just kicked it with my nephew. Shout out to little Jordan, Trillion Dollar Kid, um, Selena, Raven, Devin. You know, my nephews and my nieces. That's what that's what really keep me going. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Cause you know, family is all you got. Like you know, your 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 career and the opportunities that you get through your career is one thing. But see, I never I I never sold my soul. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like I can go anywhere. I I, I ain't strapped. You know what I mean? Only thing I fear is, is is God. So it's not too many people that move like that. You know what I mean? So I just try to uplift. I always been a big brother. You know what I mean? And, and just uplift as many people as I can when I can. You know what I mean? With a picture, with motivation, with inspiration, with a quote. You know what I mean? I'm on the Instagram, Jumbo Boy Fresh every day, hitting you with a quote and just some kind of motivation, positivity. Because we got enough of the negativity yeah you know what i mean like i go against the grain i'm gonna be i'm gonna be something positive i'm gonna be that angel i'm gonna be that 11 11 i'm gonna be that mary jane you know what i mean absolutely absolutely uh we're gonna check in with the audience just for a sec we got a high from italy we shot we we rep with our italian folks we've, been, we've been around the world drum boy have you have you traveled traveled to italy uh i have never been to italy and I, I want to go i love you know the food the culture the people I've, yeah. got, I've gotten a lot of invites I mess with, I mess with some Italian food what are, yeah. you, what are some of your favorite Italian dishes um, I would say spaghetti the garlic bread you know what oh, I'm saying yeah. the, the salads the vinaigrettes um, I like the the uh, what do you call it the uh, what do you call it the way somebody talk it's like the accent the accent, the accent. Mm -hmm get her started on accents though because we might go down a real rabbit hey. hole and we might not ever come out of it i mean you saw how she went in on mary jane earlier you know what i mean the she, pizza, she gets serious she gets real serious she gets real yeah. serious, yeah, gets real yeah, serious. The accents though that's that's you know what i mean it's like that it's just you know what yeah. i'm saying it's, it's super mario it was he italian he, he was super mario his mario and luigi proud yes. i think they were they, italian americans yeah, maybe yeah, or yeah, yeah. some they, some they were variation mario. definitely yeah, Mario, exactly. Mario and Luigi have some, been some of the most <laughs> inspiring Italians around the world in history. Some right. great yeah. legends, you know. There's maybe some race car drivers and, you know, some skiers or something like that. Some plumbers. Plumbers. These guys are plumbers and they're just doing it big. Yeah. You know, whatever you got. Now, you were speaking about family a little bit earlier ago. I, you know, you were saying your pops was in the orchestra and your mom was also involved in sort of classical music. Right. Um, how, how much has that influenced you over the years as a producer? I mean, it, 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 like every day, every minute, every moment is something going on in my head. Mm. It's a beat, you know what I mean? And that comes from, like, I'll be like, man, I'm always, I used to have bad dreams from it early, like five, six, seven, just bad dreams, wake up, just something in my head, I could never turn my brain off. You know what I mean? And my mama used to be like, I used to put your, the, the, my wound to the speaker, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When I was like six, six months, seven months, and she said, man, I play Michael Jackson, I play Luther Vandross. And you just get the kicking, you know what I'm saying? You just get the moving and dancing and whatnot. And it's crazy. So I started seeing a positive side to the nightmares, you know what I mean? But just always having music in your ear, even before I was on earth. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then living with my pop, going to see, you know, he was in Orange Mound. So living with pop, he practicing. He he. Clarinet is he practicing at least 14, 15 hours of the day. Nonstop. <laughs> Got those scales. Got those scales. Man, I mean, it's be like, man, at six in the morning, seven in the morning. So it was like real militant. You know what I'm saying? He was in the Marines and I would have to wake up six o'clock, seven o'clock doing push ups, doing speed reading tools, ACT tools, SAT tools. Like, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. just mental work. You know what I mean? You got to practice clearing it before you can go hoop. You know what I'm saying? In the house, I'm, yes, sir. No, sir. Da, 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 da. As soon as I go outside, yeah, man, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, 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 growing up in Memphis, man, it, it just 
-hmm. It teaches you to be a comedian. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Some situations you don't need to know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. situations you need to know everything you you got right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a it's a real balance of of life and survival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and those those the, the the I call it gumbo. It's just a full pot of you don't know what's in it. You be like, Mama, what's in this? Don't, don't worry about it, baby. Eat up. It's just a whole it's bunch of leftovers. Though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be some leftover this, some leftover that, some leftover this, yeah. a little season of this, and some leftover that, and then you make it the best dish Dash that lasts you a whole nother week or two. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's all about your creativity. Mm -hmm. And um, I took what the defense gave me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I took the cards I was dealt I and kind of blended into what I call trap. And, yep. and here we are today with a genre behind some inspirations of, of, of my input with the help of many others. Yep, 100%. Now, tell us a little bit more about Memphis. When you go back to Memphis now, how do you reflect on it compared to what it was like when you were growing up as a kid? Um, Right now, you know, Memphis looked like a rebuild, you know what I'm saying? And it's still like, you know, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's still, it's going down, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of, you know, um, it's a lot of, Areas that you might not want to go in, as well as it's a beautiful city. Totally, Our downtown, the Memphis Grizzlies, the the uh, the the, um, the the pyramid, and you know, what I'm saying just the whole city, the barbecue, the food, the music, the culture. You know what I mean? It's 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 a blessing to be from the bluff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't bluff. It's like you know what I'm saying. I couldn't have made it this far if I won from where I was at just because of how it inspired me and allowed me to be independent. Yep. Hmm. You know what I mean? And to get the knowledge. I never would have got the knowledge from Wendy Day, Rap Coalition. Shout out to Wendy Day. Like she was doing free educational tutors at the University of Memphis and teaching you about music business, how to uh, copyright your music and ISRC codes and the importance of ownership. You know, and this is when I was 15, 16. So I was just thankful to have so much knowledge like it's just so much passion and it's so much talent you know what i mean if you look at memphis right now like everybody taking a memphis sample or recreating a memphis sound right mm -hmm. now memphis on fire and the artists finally seeing that we can do something with what we got you know what i'm saying like it's, it's finally like damn like you know what i'm saying like it's, it's possible you look at all of the artists that's coming out the city so you know it's just motivation and inspiration you got to inspire the youth, inspire right. the future, you know what I mean? And uplift the future, give them the knowledge, give them the tools that's necessary to be successful. 100%, 100%. Now, you uh, kind of migrated over to Atlanta to pursue the music thing. Do you feel like the transition from Memphis to Atlanta was pretty organic? Yeah, because I'm a connect, you know what I mean? I'm playing for a major, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a major NBA or NFL team, you know what I mean? Like, like Memphis, it was when I was leaving, coming out of Memphis. It was maybe fifteen to twenty artists I could work with. Hmm. I worked with everybody in the city. Mm -hmm. I did everything I could in the city. So why not graduate? As soon as I go to the A, hey, Pastor Troy called me. Bam. Then Block called me. Boys in the Hood. Then Jesus called me. Bam. Then Tip called me. Then uh, uh, Drake called me out the blue. Money to blow. Rocco called me. I'ma do me. Plies called me. Florida. Shout it. You know what I mean? We do, I put on, we do lose my mind, Jeezy. You know what I mean? Walker, what's up? What you want to do? That's my whole no college hands. career yeah. right there. You know there. what I mean? Yes. Gucci comedy. The first song me and Gucci ever did was photo shoot. Then we come back in there with I Think I Love Her. Uh. You know what I mean? Like me and Gucci got over 2,000 songs together. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then I go to LA, Chris Brown. What's up? Game. What's up? Nipsey Hussle. You know what I mean? The relationships that I've gained out here with y'all in LA, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. As soon as I met Snoop Dogg, I was doing my video, doing a video shoot with DJ Drama. Did his single, Daydream, Akon, T.I., Snoop. You know what I mean? So it's just one opportunity to lead to another. Next thing you know, I'm overseas. London, Japan, you know what I'm saying? Brussels, Germany, Russia, everybody making beats like Drama Boy. You type up Drama Boy type beat, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Drummer boy type beat, drummer boy type beat. Type in drummer boy kit. I ain't never made a kit in my life. <laughs> Look how many people snatching my sounds, or it might be engineers that pull from a 2006 session or a 2008 session, 2009 session. So, man, it's 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 flattery. I'm inspired by that, man. I, I want the people to be able to, you know what I mean? 
Absolutely. And speaking of sounds, you your signature uh, kind of tag on your song. What's the origin of that? The signature tag, listen to this track, bitch, was really like listen to this track, bitch. My homeboy Jay was in the booth talking cash shit. You know what I mean? One of the first groups that brought me to Atlanta. And he was just in the booth. Hey man, yeah, man, shit, man, goddamn it, man. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Put a little dog, woo -woo -woo -woo. pleasure to this track, bitch. Yeah, woo -woo -woo. I was like, whoa, and I just let him keep talking, but in my head I was like, bro. I'm finna sample that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I sampled that shit and I just put it on the beginning of the track. Then I still hit you with the A, yeah, boy. Or, you know, at, at one time I used certain sounds that were distinctive throughout my beats. And, you know what I mean? People would recognize or think that that would be a production by me or whatnot. Then some beats, I might not put my name on it at all. Or sometimes I hit you with the foreign chick. She, drum boy, drum boy. Like on the new Jeezy and Master P I did for uh, I Got the Hook Up Part 2. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's, it's, it's about being creative. Well, I might hit you with Drummer Boy Live like I did on uh, John Tay Austin's new album. Or, or or like I hit you with uh, Here I Am, Rick Ross, Nelly, Avery Storm. You know what I'm saying? Pull the White Tigers out. Pull the White Pianos out. Let's go to Miami and get, pull the yachts out. You know what I mean? Some real fly. Mm -hmm. Put your suit on. Because, you know, women got so many outfits that they, ain't, they don't got nowhere to wear them to. <laughs> You know what I mean? So you want to give guys songs like that that can, you know, take you to another level and elevate. So even even my relationship in New York is all about traveling and diversifying yourself and throwing that M up there where you go. M's in the air. M's everywhere you go. Mary Jane, uh, Snoop Dogg TV, everyone out there in the Snoopiverse, thank you guys so much for checking in. This is about that time. We're doing our thing. We're chilling with Drummer Boy. Uh, we also smoke on some fine cannabis. We smoke on some fine vaporizer. Shout out to our sponsors, uh, Loon. They make some chill-ass vaporizers for chill-ass pre-rolls. Make yeah. your day right there. Um, Drummer Boy, we do a segment on About That Time. We call it Post It Up. We take some pictures from your Instagram. You tell us the story behind the picture. Okay. Um, it's a fun game. Uh, we put the screen picture right up here. Uh, we got a first one from you. Yeah. Uh, this was, I think there's a lot of people online were uh, kind of going this way a few weeks back. Um, just trying to see what it might look like <laughs> a few days into the future. Yeah. What's going on here, my friend? Hey, man, that's the uh, face app. You know, I was talking a little shit about, you know, not giving a fuck about my picture being used in different ways and whatnot. But uh, you know, everybody was uh in the in the face out mm -hmm. uh challenge, I guess you say. So that would be what is that, plus fifty years? That's plus, like plus 50 that's years. like granddaddy. Granddaddy granddaddy, granddaddy fresh. Drama. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> granddaddy fresh, I like it. Now I also did you guys also read about this? Like people were saying it was like a conspiracy, like there was some like Russian company that owned the face app and they yeah. were doing yeah. facial recognition. Are you a conspiracy theory kind of guy, drummer boy? No, I don't I don't I just Say fuck that shit. <laughs> they did what? They said what? What happened? Oh, yeah, it ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> hey, she ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna check in with the audience. We have a, a question, an inquiry, uh, a check in here. Uh, what advice do you have for future artists who are trying to come up in this industry? Future artists trying to come up in the industry. It's all about digital assets. You know what I'm saying? It's all about playlist right now you know what i mean a lot of times you know you used to press up massive cds and get in the streets and you know do you know do like massive street runs and whatnot you still got to get in the streets you still got to hit the djs like that's the that's the most important thing as far as physical mm. is the dj the relationship and you actually going to the dj you going up to these people shaking them shaking their hands and making sure they play the record and the energy Sometimes they might give you the mic, take the stage, let people see, you know what I mean, what's going on. I've seen people like A&Rs, executives, labels, everybody calling the next day just because of how they took the club over. Hmm. You know what I mean? So it's all about the opportunity that you got, you know what I mean? Put yourself in position, believe in yourself, brand yourself, and make sure you up on these playlists, man. Playlist digital assets. Yeah. Guys, you heard it here first. Uh, the road to the top. Uh, we have another picture from Post It Up. Let's it's, do it. it's a little trippier. <laughs> What's yeah. going on in this one? Uh, you can't bust my, burst my bubble. You know what I mean? I'm having fun. <laughs> Nickelodeon, um, brand ambassador. A lot of times we get the call to say, hey, we need some help promoting an event or a theme we got 
this project we got, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? We bring the kids out. Drummer love the kids, man. Massive kids have uh, been going out to Atlanta. So if you in Atlanta, stop through Nickelodeon Slime City. Now, what's the Slime City experience like from beginning to end? It's dope, man. From the beginning, they uh, they take you through, like, a couple rooms, you know what I'm saying? You can see how it looks like the slime is being made. And then you can actually go make slime. They got actual rooms where you can get slime. Wow, deep you know slime, I mean? a deep slime yeah, day. So it's just I'll slime city, all about the slime. <laughs> very, very, very dope. Um, well, you know, when you're the slime, slime, you slip and slide sometimes. This next picture looks like people that are imbalanced. Um, it seems like here. <laughs> oh. uh, yoga, yoga. What we got going on right here? I was tested, man. They was like, do you do yoga? Da, 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 da. Your energy is so great. Your spirits <laughs> are so beautiful. Da, 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 da. I want you to do something with me. And I did it. So I tried it, and uh, I popped my knees. You know what I'm saying? It, it felt great. You oh, know, wow. Got a stretch. Good, good yoga yeah, experience. Yeah, you know what I'm now, we got a staple. I think we got a staple sign back here, a staple pigeon. Yeah, I was stopping through staple pigeon. Um, doing some shopping for my store, House of Fresh in Atlanta. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So is the idea with House of Fresh that you take streetwear brands from around the country that you mess with and kind of bring them into the city? Absolutely. Anything that I got a relationship that's organic, you know what I mean, that, I, that I've been repping way before I even had a clothing store, um, I just took myself out of a shopping rack. Like I, I felt like I was bigger than just a, 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 a clothing rack and just wearing people's clothes for free and whatnot. Yeah, I get a lot of clothes, but... Why not let's do business? You know what I mean? Why not let me sell your shit at my store? You know what I mean? And, and actually get a front. And now we actually are uh, heading into our second location. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's been a blessing. Yeah. Very dope. Very, very dope. Uh, we got one more. Uh, maybe even <coughs> two. Uh, but this next one uh, is a different kind of vibe. Uh, letting people know uh, what the vibe is here. Repping that red. Uh, wh who you got in this picture? Uh... Man, what's my boy name? That's that's a uh, DJ. I forget my boy name, but we was at a we was at a showcase and we were judging at aisle five, an event that Gambino ATL put together. Man, I would have to look at my IG wherever y'all pulled that pitch up. His I tagged him. Okay, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So. Now, what was the competition <laughs> about? Um, the competition, it wasn't really a competition, but it was just a showcase of just different artists performing okay. and whatnot. You know, Summer Drum Squad artists, uh, Spark Dog performed, Q Monte performed, and then it was uh, several other artists that they had performed. Beautiful. Um, now, when you are incubating artists like that, what do you think the most important thing is that you feel like you impart to an artist as they're developing their sound? For the most part, it's about, you know, believing in what you say. You know what I mean? Because I, I've noticed, like, the artists that kind of, you know, they gravitate towards uh, certain topics that don't really apply to, like, having fun. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's like, if you want a crowd to really gravitate, you know what I mean? It's about having fun. You know what I mean? And, yeah, we turn, we lit, whether we getting drunk, fucked up, getting blowed, or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know, it's, it's got to be some energy. So I tell guys to always, like, you know, come with the en energy, you know, and, and, and involve the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what, that's who buy records. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd rather go into an arena and they like, ah, as opposed to just, yeah. Because the, uh -huh. the, 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 the guy's going to go where the women at anyway. Uh -huh. Truth. You know what I mean? So, you know, if I go in, let's say, for instance, I, see, I hear your whole project and you got this trap, 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 trap. I'm going to hit you with a top 40. I'm, I'm going to hit you with something to challenge you and take you kind of out of your zone and into this. Now, if you already got top 40, top 40, top 40, top 40, and R&B and R&B, all right, I'm going to hit you with the trap. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to always hit you opposite of what you got because you already got that. Well, I'm going to give you what you got. Right. You know what I mean? So I, I, I always kind of diversify myself. And Like Rick Ross, for instance, in that project, he was straight trapped out. He was done i was like man let me sprinkle you with this and we did here i am which became that was actually the fourth single that came out and the album sales went up right like that's that's rare you know True. what i mean so it's about doing things different and just you know kind of testing the boundaries and, and you know i just go with what i believe in 100 percent, 100 percent. um we got one more uh from posted up um i think, I think this is the gallery here oh uh, yeah Get, getting your Prince art on Jay. Uh, I think that was like a Hampton CBD event, and they had like it in this dope art. This was in LA, 
and uh, some artwork or something had just came through. Well, it might have been some ads. You know. <laughs> well, that is art as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's all kinds of art out there. And, it was you know, some, you got to appreciate all of it. You got to appreciate all of it. Now, you know, going to a hemp and CBD event like this in LA, that's, you know, something we do when we live in, in Los Angeles. What do you, what's the cannabis situation like <coughs> uh, down in Atlanta and in, in Tennessee? Man, it's, it's growing. And, you know, Atlanta, they just passed a law for hemp. You know what I mean? Uh, I think May 10th. So um, it's a lot of big projects, you know, going on and, and just seeing how much money. You know, you're seeing money tripling, you know, three or four hundred million last year. Now you're seeing almost a couple billion this year. Next year they're talking three hundred billion. You know what I mean? So it's definitely something that, you know, you research and, and, and try to find your way in that, that, that makes sense. Yeah, 100 percent. Now, do you think for kind of artists that are coming <clears throat> in, in the hip hop space, obviously where cannabis has been sort of part of the culture for a really long time, do you think that this industry really offers an opportunity to kind of leverage it to create that continue the uh, creative community there that sort of has made it acceptable in society um i think it's possible you know what i mean it's about involving the communities but it's also about people getting the knowledge um as well as having their business plans and their structure together in order to get proper funding to do certain things that you wouldn't believe you could do you know yep. what I mean so it's just about having your things in order having your business structured you know what I mean taxes um, and these are things that we're going to be teaching and implementing through curriculum very soon absolutely now do you feel like because you've done a lot of time here in California as well you bring some of that Cali weed kind of vibes <laughs> back east oh yeah you know what I'm saying like like Snoop when I first met Snoop he was like oh I fuck with you nephew he had just threw me a goddamn <laughs> ounce and I was like I thought he was throwing me the ounce to roll up the whole ounce you know what I'm saying I had a whole <laughs> bed they threw me all these blunts and shit it was like 20 packs of blunts I'm like okay I ain't come back in that motherfucker it's 20 motherfucking blunts like, <laughs> he's like oh I fuck with you nephew pass these motherfuckers <laughs> man everybody's smoking and getting high so it's just you know what I'm saying all my shit I get that from my mama like my mama was queen and throwing parties and she was the great Gatsby right mm. you know what I mean she was just entertaining like, hold on let me get the music and y'all yeah. need some punch you know what I mean she'll be cooking and just setting the tone you know what I mean and making sure people feel good and that's that's what it's about like we are superstars we celebrities people look at us as as as, as superheroes or whatever but man we all human you know what I mean we still got the same heart we still got the same you know what I mean blood and it, it's about showing that respect, you know what I mean? And, and, and being able to have that mutual respect, have fun, and, and, and party like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and be able to trip, laugh, and joke, and, you know what I mean? Like, the negativity, we just gotta, it's all about and unity, that. man. We gotta, you know what I mean? Yeah, keep it positive, bring it together. For real, smoke gotta, something, man, gotta Mary agree Jane. That. Guys, smoke something, Mary Jane. We're gonna check in with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, Snoop TV, Mary Jane. We've got another uh, inquiry from our fine audience. Uh, would you be a judge on Masters of the Beat Makers? Uh, and were you offered to, if you were offered to be one? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm taking offers. Uh, I, I'm definitely <laughs> familiar with the TV world. We've done several different TV shows and appearances and whatnot. Um, and it's, it's just all about the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm about business, big business. You know what I mean? And and changing lives. And I've never wanted to go on TV or use my fame in in, in disgrace. You know what I mean? Or if somebody look at me and be like, man, that ain't, people know me. You know what I'm saying? So I can't fake like a lot of these different uh -huh. shows for real, for real. They, they, they got you faking and looking like something that you really ain't. You know what I'm saying? And that's nothing that I can never do. You know what I mean? So if it's real and it's giving somebody an opportunity, man, holler at me. Holler at my <laughs> manager, squeak. At Mr. Underscore Squeak, man, S-Q-U-E-A-K. Absolutely. Well, guys, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Sometimes it's hard to make sense of a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to a member of our Critter Click here, Drummer Boy. This is Bowie the Cat. Okay. He chills out with us. He's sort of a, he looks kind of like a glowing today. Those are the yeah. uniques. He, he messes <laughs> with his his uh, butterflies, the uniques. He chills yeah, out with he us. He's like he been smoking some. Yeah, he's smoking. I mean, I don't know. That's some special cron, I think. You know, it's, it was <laughs> maybe some butterflies. Yeah, maybe some pets, pet CBD, <laughs> a very advisable yeah. dose for Bowie the Cat. Uh, do you have pets, Drummer Boy? I do not. Yeah, I'm traveling all the time. I want some pets, you know what I mean? Probably soon, I want, I'll probably get a dog or something like that. A dog. You know what I mean? 
Well, we have digital pets, so we're kind of cheating. We don't have the, it's all the fun without any yeah. of the responsibility. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And that, that's really the question you have to consider. Uh, yeah. We just brought you Fuzz about the Husky. We actually just got yeah. you a dog. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, he's chilling. Do you think you would go like a kind of like a Husky type dog? You think you'd pull that off or not? I'd probably go like a Pit or a Doberman or a K9. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, I've always wanted to buy enough land to where I could have like a couple eagles. You know what yeah. I mean? Oh, eagle on deck. Yeah, you know, with the leather like, gloves, like trained like, eagles. Yeah, like, trained so eagles. Cool. That's pretty yeah, swaggy. That yeah. I like it. Uh, well, drummer boy, we do a segment uh, on about that time. We call it "Roll the News." We take some headlines from around the world and we talk about it. Okay. Um, the first headline is actually kind of interesting. You were talking about the growth of the cannabis industry. Mm -hmm. A new survey just came out. It said that now Americans, as many Americans that are smoking weed, are the same as the Ameri amount of Americans that are smoking cigarettes. You know, 20, 30 years ago, 45% of Americans were smoking cigarettes, now only 15. The number of Americans smoking cannabis is almost at 15%. Well, it's a tie. I've been Thanks. saying that though. Like, I, I remember like when I was three, four, and my mom used to smoke cigarettes heavy. And that's the reason why I never smoked cigarettes, you know what I mean? Just because, you know, she would never roll the window down. I used to be kicking in the seat, like, and, I, you know, my eyes burning. It was just, you know, a little tension. You know what I mean? I, I used to hate, I still hate cigarettes. You know what I mean? Just the smell I get in my clothes and whatnot. And I don't know, we just always felt like just looking at Bob Marley, looking at, you know what I mean? All the greats, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's, it, it's like, okay. Can't argue with weed. Something don't sound right. Like, okay, these folks making these, these cigarettes legally and it's killing people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen nobody die for no weed. To this day. No. How is this not legal? I, I just never could understand it. So for it to finally be here around me. <laughs> it's, un, it's an unbelievable time. It is, and man. People it's like we living away. this. We actually living through this, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy Wiz, Burner, all my guys, <laughs> man. They got strands, two chains, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's, it's just seeing what Burner has accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what, what uh, uh, Wiz has accomplished. You know what I mean? So many guys snoop. You know what I mean? Just what he's accomplished, you know, in the industry. You know, I I, I, I shout the Empire man, Willie Nelson. True. You know what I mean? Right. For just really standing up and 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 fighting for the rights. You know what I mean? So it's an honor to live in this in this period for sure, man. Guys, it's a time of change, and you know, and that change means we can smoke a lot of weed, which hallelujah, pretty good thing. <laughs> um, now this is a, another <coughs> side of that legalization. The next story uh, from tonight's installment of Roll the News: uh, Dispensary was recently shut down. Uh, in Oklahoma after the owner was caught selling meth on the premises. Uh, now, guys, it's a, it's an important time of change, but if Come you're going to get in the mix, be yeah. responsible, man. That's yeah. just real. That's that's bad for Don't everybody. Don't fuck up this shit for no. that shit. No. That's Come bad on. for everyone. No. That yeah. should not be available at your local dispensary. No, I think we got, we got to draw a line, guys. <laughs> Cannabis has never killed people. That's where we draw the line. Right. Um, mm. But, uh, you know, don't do that in the dispensary. We're trying to we're trying to have a good reputation out here, people. Don't sell don't sell meth in the in the dispensary. Makes yeah. sense. It's not a good idea. It's not no, a good no. idea. Uh, they're sp selling new things in dispensaries, though. I think in Oakland they're now selling uh, psychedelic mushrooms because yes, yes. uh, that uh, is no longer criminal in yeah. this in the city of Oakland. Psychedelic mushrooms. Psychedelic mm -hmm. mushrooms. Have you have one? I have, sir. How do they make you feel? Pretty good. I'd say no complaints. Okay. Yeah, I would go back for more. No woozy. No, not really. Um, you know, you don't, you're not going to want to eat a huge meal while you're in that moment. <laughs> you know, you're definitely going to want to hydrate and yeah. keep it kind of keep it light. Uh, sex, but, no sex. Uh, I would say positive, but you're sort of in another dimension. I wouldn't say it's. Uh, you know, that would be the first thing that's on your mind. You know, you're, you're just like kind of sitting there, vibing on the nature. Like it's all it's all yeah. good. You know, keep it keeping it mellow. Keep it raising the, raising the heartbeat. I don't know. If it's necessary to raise the heartbeat for for you know. Definitely smoke a joint though. Yeah. Definitely smoke a joint. Yeah, just for keep sure. It, keep it there. Keep, keep it mellow. Yeah. All right. On the psychedelic now, mushroom. On the psych now speaking of psychedelic mushroom. Speaking of other dimensions. The last story we have tonight uh, from Roll the News. Uh, Tom DeLong, he's the former frontman of uh, Blink-182. He's mm -hmm. quite a known uh, UFO guy. He's very into UFOs. Uh, he says that his organization has oh obtained exotic metals unknown to science. Mm -hmm. Tom DeLong, Blink-182, he has alien, <coughs> alien metals is what he's trying to tell us. Exotic wow. metals. Exotic metals unknown to science. 
That's like, pretty next level. Now, you know, he's a he's a known music personality, and this UFOs has just really become his his passion. Right. Did you know anyone that's into UFOs, Drum Boy? I don't. No, no, don't. like kind of like. What are you about? What about you, Kalia? Um, just the Men in Black. Men in Black. That's as far as the UFO things goes. Yeah. It does not go beyond I didn't Men even, in Black. I wasn't even a huge fan of the X Files show. I really tried to. I really, really tried. Either you're in or you're not. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard to be. I love me some in. Walking Dead though. Okay, Walking Dead. I feel that. Yeah. You know, it. No UFOs, but no. still, it's you know, it's pushing it's the fun boundaries. Either way. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I don't know. I've never been abducted by a UFO. Um, did you see this headline from a couple weeks back where people were saying they were going to storm Area 51? <laughs> did you see that one on the internet? To see them aliens. To see the aliens. They can't stop us all. So people get passionate about yeah. this. They really they really want there to be really another thing. to really see if it's yeah. real. Yeah, really see if it's real. Well, I maybe just stick with the mushrooms and the legal weed. Oh, no, and, don't get right. caught out yeah. by now, you know what I'm saying? When they turn around and you got them. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to <laughs> run away. <laughs> aliens, you want to prepare yourself for that well, experience. I know. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, we have another uh, check-in from the audience. Um, we've got Courtney Hippie, shout out. Do you have tips for someone who is homeless and really wants to write a song? How can one channel that, plan, that pain. pain into inspiration into a song, especially if you haven't written before? That's a great wow. question. Wow. Man, everything is video and, and social media. If you're homeless, if you were able to send this message, that means you got a phone. So I would write my song and tell my story through my phone, whether it's through Instagram, Facebook. I would record a voice memo or something and put it on SoundCloud. Like, there's so many different, you know, things that you could do just right on the flip of your phone, for real. Yeah. Well, it's amazing that we live in a time when people who have so little are able to have access to ways to share their story mm -hmm. um, and hopefully bring light on those issues. Uh, and maybe get their voice heard by others, you know? It Absolutely. could definitely change a lot. Um, now, speaking of checking in, speaking of being on another level, uh, Drama Boy, we do a segment here on About That Time. We call it Astrology Time. Mm -hmm. We look at the stars. Um, we see what's going on. Uh, we figure out uh, mm -hmm. what might be uh, accurate and not accurate because we'll read some sentences from your horoscope, uh, and you can tell us if you think they're accurate or not. Okay. Uh, now, do you follow the horoscope at all? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so what? what's your feeling on it? Do you like feel like it <coughs> really gets you sometimes? You kind of like, eh. I feel like it's always very general to where it kind of applies to whoever it's talking to. You know what I mean? But there are certain uh, key elements that apply. Right. There there. So it's almost like a 50 50. But it's like, it's like I'm listening to you, but I got my eye to you. Like right. Skeptical like, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we'll read them to you. You tell them, tell us if they're, you think they're on point or not. Right. Uh, so the first element from tonight's installment of Astrology Time uh, says they have amazing patience. Did you say you're a patient guy? I have learned to be patient. That is definitely a learned skill. I agree with that. It yeah, doesn't always come I naturally. I wasn't always patient. You know what I mean? I was. You know what I mean? And I'm still very, you know what I mean? But I do that with the target. Once I see the target and know the target, then it's, you know what I mean? There you go. But, yeah, it's, it's, I, have, I have learned to be patient. Uh, especially living in L.A., you need yeah. to learn how to be patient. Oh, yeah, with the when, traffic. Oh, with the traffic, you got to be patient. When, you, when you're trying to order a coffee and how yeah. long it takes to get that coffee. Yeah. You got to be Yeah. Lots, lots of patience, guys. It's a good thing to cultivate if you don't feel as though it's coming to you uh, naturally. So I think that's a pretty, pretty on point one. Yeah. Um, element number two says uh, it can be hard for these people to show or share deep emotion. Now, I don't know. What do you think? For Leo? For Leo, August 11th. Oh. Uh, um. Mm. That one is a tricky question, too, because before my brother's death, I think I showed more emotion. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You know what I mean? Now it's like I'm numb to a lot of shit. Yeah. You I could see I could see how that might happen. So it's, it's like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So <coughs> I feel like it's in the inner inner realm. But passionate, I think, is another word. But yeah, you know, yeah, being passionate, you know what I mean, is different. I agree I with that. I think the emotional. I think that is kind of like 
You know, it's, it's like there, but it's complicated. Very small. It's a pinch. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, we have a third element from your horoscope tonight. Uh, tell us if you think it's on point or not. Uh, often drawn to caring professions such as nursing, therapy, social services, or the clergy. Do you feel like you've ever been drawn to making sure that whatever you're doing is, is helping others, caring for others? Definitely. I, I agree with that one. Um, I'm, I've always been a big brother, volunteer, YMCA, you know what I'm saying, Boy Scouts of America, you know what I'm saying, and just a therapist. Yeah. A life change. Very interesting. You know what I mean? So it's, 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 I get that from my grandfather. He was a principal, and uh, he wrote he, he wrote the desegregation plan for Maryland. Wow. Mm. They named the middle school after him, General James Gosson Middle School. And this is in Maryland, in, in, you know, right outside D.C. He was principal at Fairmont Heights for 30 years. So just seeing him, how he, like I went to his 90th birthday and just seeing all these doctors and lawyers and, mm. you know what I mean, police officers and, and, and just, you know, coaches and the president, United States, like, saluting him for how he uplifted a community, you know what I mean, and generation after generation after generation of people. You know what I mean, and, and with knowledge and, and stability and foundation. You know what I mean, and that's what it's always been with. For, like for me, like <clears throat> when I did the unification process of Memphis, which I call Welcome to My City, and it was like really one of my first rap projects that I put all the top rappers at the time on one project. I got the key to the city of Memphis. You know what I mean? It's like it's one thing to produce, but if you look at the top producers in the game, Dr. Dre, Swiss Beats. Kanye, Pharrell, Manny Fresh, Jazzy Fade, any any of the, you know what I'm saying? They all rap. True. You know what I mean? Like, you, you have to, I got to see your face at some point, sometime. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now now the endorsements. Oh, now. Oh, now. Oh, yeah. Okay, drum. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll have you on. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like different. You know what I mean? So it's, it's about, you know, just diversify yourself and putting yourself in, in position to do any and everything. The music just put me in position to do cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency put me in position to do motivational speaking. Mm -hmm. Motivational speaking put me in position to do a curriculum. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The curriculum put me in position to start a whole studio project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just one thing that goes into another. Studio project puts me in position to do movies. You know what I mean? And just like that, you know, one thing leads to another. You know what I mean? So it's about, you know, mastering one thing and then, you know what I mean, kind of diving into the other. Stepping stones. Absolutely. For sure. Um, tell us a little more about your work with uh, Big Brother. Um, a lot of different events, volunteer um, projects and um times that I've gone into different classes and spoken um, or even shown how to make music um, and just, you know what I mean, like making a beat on spot and letting them play the keys and doing different things to, you know, show them that their input matters. You know what I mean? Everybody inputs matters and it's like poking life. Whatever you poke into life, there's going to be an effect somewhere. Hmm. You know what I mean? So whatever you put into it is what you get out. You know what I mean? And even if it's 2%, 1%, I'd rather have 2% of something than 0% of nothing, you know, 100% of nothing. Very well put. You know what I mean? So, you know, just teaching a different vision that's uplifting and putting us in a better position for the future. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we have one more element from your horoscope. Uh -huh. um, if they have problems with their health, they should seek out a licensed holistic healer. Are you into alternative healing methodologies, drummer boy? Not at all. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Well, I mean, cannabis is sort of a holistic healer, I would say, potentially. Um, uh, I guess. You could heal your insomnia, heal your anxiety. Yeah. Bring you to a more creative space. But in general, just stick with conventional medicine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm straight flower. Like just flour, cool. Maybe some some liquor, alcohol from time <laughs> to time. You know what I'm saying? But well, a little yoga too. I mean, we saw yeah, you, we saw you. Yoga. Oh yeah, we in the, the gym. Yoga. 
We in the gym. In the gym. I mean, that's that's, that's yeah. it's important to stay health healthy. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. I agree with that. I couldn't agree with that more. Well, that was astrology time. I think the horoscope had had something to offer. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't totally on point, oh, but yeah. it gave us some it's insight. Balanced, you know, it's little... Yeah, he's no, nobody's perfect, yeah. especially the horoscope. <laughs> uh, well, Drummer Boy, uh, before we let you go, we like to give you an opportunity uh, to let the Mary Jane and Snoop audience know what they should be checking for you uh, this coming year. All right, definitely. Um, we just dropped my the, the uh, my brother's keeper album. We got the collective project. We dropped on Trevor Jackson's album. I did a uh, Tell Me featuring Lil Yachty. Um, we just did a record for K. Michelle. I'm excited about Jonte Austin. Just dropped a project. Um, I'm excited about. It's so much music, man. But definitely uh, stay tuned for our new studio projects. The curriculum coming soon. Um, excited about doing some things with the film, video gaming, celebrity gaming. Um, the hands in the pots of everything. Beautiful. Shout out to nephew, man. Keep doing your thing, boy. We're gonna, what up, Snoop? <laughs> we're gonna do one more check in with the audience before we leave. Uh, downloading my brother's keeper now. Can't wait uh, to left hand and listen. Oh uh, yeah, man. Appreciate you. Definitely appreciate you, man. My brother's keeper. Definitely check out the collective project, man, by Drum Squad. All of our artists showcases our roster. Beautiful. Uh, Mary Jane, thanks so much for checking in with us. Uh, thanks to Loon Vaporizers and Pre-Rolls for bringing us the show. Uh, thank you, Drummer Boy. Guys, yes, it's been lit. We'll see you very soon on About All That right. Time.